Did you know that about 70% of how well our skin actually looks comes from skincare inside out? So I'm gonna be sharing with you three of the very best foods for your skin and three that you should probably think about avoiding all in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing this stuff for 36 years, helping people like you find skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Now today we're gonna be talking about three foods that have been proven, they're science backed, to have a massive impact, massive impact on your skin's health and of course how it looks from the inside out. The first of which you've probably heard about before, which is fatty type of fish. that salmon, tuna, mackerel, and herring, all of which are rich, which are rich, in omega-3 fatty acids. Now these acids are so important in the function of our body that when we are in depletion mode, things can break down. Keeping those levels of fatty acids healthy have been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke and reduce the risk of Alzheimer's and early onset dementia. But the biggest benefits for your skin is that they help maintain healthy moisture levels. They also help reduce inflammation, which can lead to all sorts of skin problems. And they also help help protect your skin from the damaging effects of UVA and UVB light. So omega-3s, number one on the list. Now next up on the list happens to be one of my favorites. I actually eat one just about every single day and that is the lowly avocado. Not so lowly when you talk about how much they cost. However, avocado is rich in healthy fats, which also helps you maintain healthy moisture levels and also reduces inflammation. But even more so, it's rich in vitamin E, which is a superpowered antioxidant that will help your skin cells reproduce healthier skin cells and live longer. All of which over time helps your skin look healthy and youthful. And third on the list of the best of the best is also another one of my favorites, and that is the sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are an excellent source of beta carotene, which is converted into vitamin A. And you probably also know that superpowered skincare ingredients like tretinoin and retinol all come as derivatives of vitamin A. And it is essential for healthy skin as it helps regulate cellular turnover, something that we want to maintain a high speed of as we get older. Sweet potatoes are also rich in vitamin C, which helps with collagen production and protecting elastin and collagen fibers from breaking down. And it too helps protect your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. Now let's talk about three of the bad boy foods you should consider avoiding if you want to keep your skin healthy and youthful looking for years to come. The first on the list is not one that's going to surprise anybody, or it shouldn't, and that is refined sugar and processed foods. Too much refined sugar in your diet leads to things like glycation, which is oxidation process that happens in the body to your organs and your skin and has been shown to deplete collagen levels, actually melting away the colonies of collagen deep in the layers of your skin, leading to skin sagging and premature aging. Similarly, uh, similarly, processed foods high in bad fats for you, sugar, salt, and preservatives, all of which have been shown to increase inflammation in the body, something we don't want, and increase oxidative stress. So even though you may be taking things like vitamin C or, or eating healthy, if you have a lot of processed foods in your diet, you're actually working against yourself. So it is really a great idea to consider removing as much of those type of foods from your diet. Doesn't mean you can't have them. I had cake, my birthday was last week. I had a big piece of carrot cake. But for me, all in all, over the years, one of the things that contribute to the fact that I look really good for my age of 59 is that I pretty much went sugar free early on in my 20s because of the acne issues that I had. And speaking of acne, the next one up that you need to think about, especially if you have acne prone skin, psoriasis, eczema, any of those autoimmune response issues that skin can have, dairy products can be a big, big problem for two big reasons. A lot of the commercially produced dairy products contain hormones that disrupt your own hormonal system internally in your body that can lead to excess oil production, inflammation, which all can trigger acne breakouts. And I know what a powerful thing it can be to remove these foods from your diet and see the effect on your skin if you have any of those issues, because I did it in my 20s and after 12 years of dealing with cystic acne and taking everything known to man, including Accutane three times, I removed 
sugar, dairy, and went on a fast, and guess what? My acne went away and it never came back. Plus, keeping in mind that even though you may seem to tolerate dairy well, many, many people do not, which can lead to digestive issues, inflammation in the bowels and stomach, and it can mess up your internal gut health. So by just making a few alterations to your diet and being mindful of what goes in your mouth, you can really change the way your skin looks in about five to six weeks. It works that quickly. And for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin aging, be sure to check out this video that is coming up next. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and watching. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys over on that next video.